The town of Sitka is nestled in a small corner of Baranoff Island in southeastern Alaska. Fishing has sustained people here for 10,000 years, beginning with the native Klingit people. In the 19th century, natives had to contend with invading Russian fur trappers and later American loggers and fishermen. Today, Sitka's 8,600 residents comprise native and non-native Alaskans. Still, old wounds run deep and a key part of modern Sitka's path to a culture of health has been to address the historic trauma of its native population. So if you were Tlingit, that would be everything you would need to know about me. You would know where I was from, who my ancestors were, who my relatives are. When the United States came in, the Forest Service started burning down our smokehouses. It was, in essence, burning down our banks, burning down our way of life. At the 2017 Sitka Health Summit, community members selected a goal on addressing historical trauma. The Office of Children's Services, or OCS, works with the Sitka Tribe of Alaska to keep children in their own home. We've really had to work hard on this relationship, forgiving the system in how they treated our Native people. What has to happen is an acknowledgement of the fact that um, institutions continue to have racism, they continue to make mistakes. Wuchin is the Hungyet word for together. Every month in Sitka, we have the Wuchin Health Networking and Learning Lunch, sparking partnerships and collaboration. A big turning point in Sitka's health history is the merger of our two hospitals that's laying out a new path forward for healthcare in our town. The Sitka Sound Science Center has become a hub of uh, research, of education, of science communications. Creating a culture of science really fits well with creating a culture of health. Pacific High School has a fantastic garden class. We're all really excited about hands-on education where students are developing real skills that can connect them to the, the world at large. We were so excited at the 2018 Sitka Health Summit that one of the health summit goals that was chosen was to create a teen center. It was created by the teens and asked for by the teens. I think it's going to be much more inclusive of all teenagers. It's going to be everybody. In order to be a healthy community, we need to be able to talk with each other and support each other. And I think we're moving in that direction, and I think it is leading to a healthier community.